Hi everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. My name is Lisa and welcome back to my kitchen. Um, so in light of the coming up holiday, I was kind of looking for um, interesting recipes and I don't know if you can, I think you can see this. Red, white, and blue jello for keto. And I love jello, but I thought I had to give it up because some of the sugars, you know, even if it's sugar free, was not necessarily the keto friendly kind. Um, found out otherwise. So uh, yesterday I went ahead and did the blue ones so that y'all could see. Ugh, oh gosh, that wasn't that hard. Okay, um, what that looks like is pretty blue color. Um, and by the way, if you are new, please put new. If you are watching replay, please put replay and where from. And if you are watching me now, just say hi and where you're watching from, okay, everybody? All right, so um, to get this started, um, I've been doing low carb and keto for eh, a little more than three years now. And, um, you know, I, I really don't miss um, a lot of the foods that I used to have as much. Occasionally, still happens, but uh, anyway, um, yesterday, the I, the recipe is from All Day I Dream About Food, and I will post the link to those who ask for it. Um, it just tends to get lost in the comments, so if you could just PM me, that would be good. Um, but again, it's All Day I Dream About Food, credit where credit is due. And in that link, it told me to get these um, fruit flavorings that were keto-friendly. Who knew? Okay, so they got strawberry, blueberry, banana, and watermelon, and they were even cool enough to include a keto banana bread recipe. So that's kind of nice. I just thought, you know, I would share that. So today we're going to be doing the red version, which is, why don't I just spill everything out? Okay. As you can see, this is clear. Um, so you do need to add a little bit of red food coloring and I think, let's see, we'll just get a first of this. Come on. So what kind of a day are you all having? It has been thunderstorming and raining here, so couldn't tell you, and I did not realize I had not opened this. Don't use food coloring that often, to be very honest with you. Um, okay, something got in there. You're just going to want to do this enough to give her a deep red color. Honestly, um, it doesn't require a lot. Break it up a little bit. No, that's not going to be quite deep enough. I would like a little bit more red in my red, white, and blue. So I think we'll just go like this. And that gel should dissolve. Okay, so once you've got that mastered, I don't know, that's still kind of pinky to me. Maybe I should have made this yesterday. The blue was a lot easier. <laughs> a few drops. Okay, that's a little bit deeper. So we'll go with this for now. And if you want to add more, you know, you can always add more. Um, so what you're going to do with this is just to make sure, um, so a whisk it, with the right, pour the mixture in a medium saucepan. Okay. So that is two cups of water mixed with that food coloring. And then we're going to whisk in the sweetener, which is half a cup of swerve powder. The powdered kind, okay, that was important um, because it dissolves easier, um, and I found that to be true. You do want something that dissolves fairly quickly, and granular is just not going to do it. So you're going to want the powdered, and there we go. And you're not going to turn it on yet, like I thought. I was so glad. Read the recipe through before you try this. Quite honestly. <laughs> 
Um, I nearly made a couple of mistakes, but, um, okay, and as you can see, we're getting that nice and stirred in. But it's still a little on the cloudy side. So, okay, and then, da, 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 da. you're not going to want to let this one boil, and this one's going to have to sit. So, it calls for um, a tablespoon of Oh, and you know what? I almost forgot the strawberry flavoring. That would be kind of bad, huh? It says to taste, so there's not a strong measurement on that one. We'll just let that one go, because that was about what I did with the blue yesterday, with the blueberry. Stir that in, and then you're going to go with a tablespoon of gelatin the clear gelatin um i'm using this it says grass fed in the link recipe um i've not been able to find you know the difference between the two but i as you saw it did gel up it was fine um yeah it's basically a packet gotta explore what they mean <laughs> so anyway um while i am waiting on this I'll actually get this done. Ta -da. There. Okay. Yeah, it's that it's going and leave it on the top. Don't stir it in. Okay, that's important as well. It needs to bloom for about three minutes, and I like to set a timer just so that things don't get lost. Okay, so while that is blooming. We'll get a few things out of the way. Um, I was doing some work today, and, you know, I've been working on health and uh, promoting it, actually. I uh, never actually realized just how far sometimes we can go, even with education and everything. It seems like our country is just swimming in sick people, and I'm, it's sad, really. Um, but anyway, so I've been doing some different researching, talking to people, you know, finding out what their issues are. So please feel free to share them with me. Um, I'm doing my best to get that out on my health and wellness group. And if you'll PM me about that, I'll let you know. And additionally, um, there's a few things that I've done. You, it's not going to be a one pronged approach when it comes to health. It's going to come with a couple of different things. First of all is your mindset. You're going to have to decide you're going to have to make a change um, to do something you've never done, you're going to have to do something you've never done. So it can be tough for some people to make that change. Um, the second thing is you're probably going to have to involve some form of physical activity. And the third thing is um, I have been using some nutritional supplements. Your body does need that. We don't get it from our food um, as much as we used to due to Compromised guts. We maybe we're taking medication that's you know injured the guts, or maybe like me, you have something like IBS and you just don't, you know, absorb well. So um, you are going to have to decide on that. And and many people don't know that they don't absorb things well. Um, I certainly didn't. And so it's been making a lot of difference to me. Um, if you would have seen me a few years ago, you would have seen a lot more of me in this video. So. Come down with some of that, lost inches. It, it feels a lot better. Don't have the aches and pains that I used to have. So, anyway, um, while we're waiting for that. So, anyway, if y'all want to join me on a call tonight and learn a little bit more about that, please PM me with that information. And if not, whoops, that's before. We're letting it bloom. Sorry. I almost got to jump the gun there. Um... So, anyway, like any other gelatin, you're not going to be able to let this come to a boil. And you don't normally with gelatin that you cook, um, usually just heat it up. And I am going to go grab those glasses because that was the one thing I forget. You guys, you know what? I always see, feel like I have to forget something or it just isn't. Fortunately, this one's fairly easy. Um, all right. So, one, two, three, we're about ready to have that come on. Yay! Okay, so now we're going to turn on the stove. 
about to a medium level. You really don't want it on high or anything like that. And you're gonna stir. You can see that it was still a little cloudy. Um, our gelatin bloom for a bit. What you're just gonna do is heat it up until it dissolves. Um, and that's gonna take a couple of minutes. And in the meantime, I think we'll work on the garnish for the other one. So we'll wait till that goes up. All right. So you can use whatever you want for garnish. Um, but to do this red, white, and blue, you're going to need something white. And white jello is kind of hard to do, right? You have to do basically clear. So what I did was... Mix up some coconut cream, chill it. You've got to chill it or it doesn't really whip up like cream. And then um, I just whipped it like you would whipped cream. And it comes out like this. Now you can use heavy cream and most ketonians, most people on keto will. Um, I have a dairy sensitivity, so I'm making this dairy free today. Trying to be as good with allergies as I can. I got stung by some, I think, stinging nettles this morning. And I think that's enough of an allergic reaction for one day. So, <laughs> um, and you can do this, or I could have put raspberries on this. Kind of mix it up. And then you'll have your red, white, and blue. Get this heated up, get the gelatin dissolved. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. I know some of you are so busy. Um, if you're a really busy person, please put busy in the comments. Um, if you have any questions, please also, you know, feel free to share. I like to get to know people. Not all about the food, but it kind of is. You ever notice how food is so much a part of people's social lives? Like, have you ever met a person who can't eat? I have a nephew who's never been able to eat a day in his life, and you just don't think about how much food is a part of it until you have to invite somebody who can't. Um, he has an interesting medical issue, but... He's way outlived the doctor, so just because the doctor has said something will happen or something won't happen, they don't have the final say. Sometimes things work out completely different than what they thought. All depends. I tend to give God the credit. I think God has the final say. mixed in. I think some of the gelatin kind of came off the side of the pan. Having to work a little bit more to get it in there. And this is going to have to chill. And the reason I'm doing it at this time is because it is going to have to chill to um, be ready in time for dinner. And you want to give this one probably at least two to three hours before you need to use it so um or eat it rather or present it or whatever it is you're doing So anyway, who has 4th of July plans? Like, you know, is everybody going out? What are y'all doing? I am going to go to a festival, I think. It should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. It's just the next town over has had it for many, many years, and they do an awesome job with fireworks and just the festival in general. really like it. It's nice to get back to celebrating again, don't you think? Okay. 
this should almost be ready because we got a little bit of steam there. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's definitely steam. And it looks like almost everything is dissolved. So guess what? I think it's time to take it out. Okay, so let's just move this. Um, I tend to stick with the half cup that it recommended. It gelled up really nice. If you want to try more, you can. Just remember, it'll probably take a lot longer to sit. So, um, let's see. It's mm, about right. Just add a little bit more here. Should be able to see. But anyway, guys, have a great weekend. And thank you for watching. And again, PM me for that information. I love to get to know you. Anyway, this is Lisa with Red, White, and Blue Gelatin. And uh, just to show you that it's actually good. Like, comes out terrific. Mm. Makes a good afternoon snack, too. Have fun, everybody. Bye-bye.